That was me you stabbed that time. I Today is the day we uh, build the tow truck tranny. So we'll walk you through what we got here. You've seen us harvest this a few weeks ago out of a 76 Chevy truck. It has a 203 transfer case on it. And we're only gonna use this piece. It unbolts right here, you can see. This is going away, we'll keep this. We're gonna take this off-road design doubler piece right there and bolt to the back of it. And then we're gonna put a 205 on the back of it. Here we go. <laughs> a little bit of grease on there. There's a lot of grease on there. He's been around a bit. I'm gonna go get a basket. Oh, I don't know what bolts we need, what bolts we don't need. Probably should have drained the 90 weight out of this first. You'll never too late. Let's right. get an overhead crane hanging on it. Okay. All right. There we go. That's actually clean oil. That's amazingly enough. <laughs> Oh, we're making a mess now. That's how you know you're doing something. Snap ring on it? Yep. That would explain it. There's so much grease, I couldn't tell. Got it? Yep. So what we got left? That one. I got a wrench in my pocket for. Oh yeah, that, that made some movement. That's the last one. Shifters. Caught somehow or another here. All right, so we figured it out. There's a C-clip right behind here that we gotta take off. So we gotta pull this housing off real quick. Then it'll come apart. Yeah, it doesn't take us all day. We read the instructions. Somewhere, I had a Mountain Dew that I was drinking. Right there. It's the code red today. I have some variety. Do we gotta take the input shaft off? Uh, the big one? Maybe. We gotta look at the pictures. We got one bolt left. I'm all about trying it. If it don't work, then we'll try something else. Yep, just come right off. What do you need for this other part? Pound a pin out? Yeah, looks like knock a pin out, so a roll pin. Oh, you dokes. Okay. All right, buddy. That's <laughs> like a 205. Yeah, that's where all our, our stuff fell from. Oh, yeah, right there. And they just went in the bottom. I collected all of them. Hey, they're, well, the most they're of them. around. Oh, there's two <laughs> different sets. Yeah, yeah, inner and outer. It's a good thing we're not doing that. That's the new gear that we got to put back in it. And Which then we is need that this. One. Then we need that. So, that big gear. Yep. All right, well, we're going to figure all this out and clean everything up, and then we'll show you what we got. Uh, go ahead, keep going. Yep, a little more. A couple more. Last <sighs> one. There we all go. Right. We need this gear right here. We have a new input shaft that we'll put on it. This is our new input gear, and that will spline into the 205. Snap ring comes off, and then we can pull that whole gear and everything that we need and slide it back on this one. We just gotta slip this gear up off of here. Oh, bushing looks good. That looks way good. Let me slip that down onto there like so. Hello, Michelle. What's up? Well, it's not time yet. I have, I have one minute. It's 3.29, I'll go get him. All right, I gotta go get a kid. All right, this retainer piece is actually what goes on here, but they have a different piece, which is that aluminum piece right there. So we're gonna take this bearing out and we will put it in that other housing. Looks good. I think we'll be all right with that. Getting a bearing to put it in here. We're building doublers? Yep. I built one of those once. Makes all the difference, huh? Yeah, it makes a ton of difference on the way it crawls. You hear that now? Solid now. Yeah. Bottom down. Bottom down. Now we got to stack this in there. Yeah, we got to put this on top of that. And then we got to put all those little roller bearings back in it. Yep. Oh, that's well, awesome. we got to do this and put the clip in it. So that'll go in there. Then we'll put this little clip on it. And we'll stick it back on there. Doing a little fishing right here for roller bearings, and we got a few. I think I got them all. I'm giving her a whirl. 
Then we'll go ahead and put gaskets and do all the stuff that's required back there. We got her, Toyota. Not my first day putting 203s together. That oil looks pretty clean. Not too shabby. There's a magnet right there we need to pull out. It's got some stuff on it. We'll clean that off. Okay, let's see if we can not drop roller bearings. I think that happened, didn't it? Yeah, I moved my fingers quick. I seen that you did. I was willing to sacrifice your finger. Oh, well, thank you. It was going in, so I'm like, he'll Appreciate move it. That. Appreciate that. How nice is that, Ben, that he's willing to sacrifice your finger? That's all the way in. It's the, let me see that crescent answer over there. Need to shift it. It's the, shift forks. You turn the shaft right here. There you go, leave it right there. Feels like one of them tipped over or something yeah, funny. Yeah, it did because it stopped right there yeah. again. We got more of them that have got to come up. No, oh, yeah, we do. Lots of holes. Go bunches. grab that grease over there, Andrew. Yeah. I'm going to put enough below it that it can't fall. If a little bit's good, a lot's better. better. That should push them up. Why you do that first time? I was just playing around. <laughs> that worked way easier that time. I'm just snugging them so I don't okay. break it. It's not that one. That one just flops right in there. Better be that next one then. It's not that one. Do we install it in the 205? Install seal doubler with spring goats towards the 203. Okay. Two must go in a half an inch below gas. Half an inch. That a half inch, Randall? Looks like a quarter of an inch to me. There it is, a half inch. Look down that seal and tell me that that's not. Okay, what about the bottom now? It may be a skosh a little deep, <laughs> but I had a half to a five eighths to work with. Hey. It's not bad. That's that a half right inch. Yeah, it's good. Ship it. I thought lower side doesn't make it bigger than that. We already drained it. I don't think we drain it, there's just no oil in it. All I know is they'll go, oh, about six months with no oil in it. How do you know that? Yeah, kid I worked with put one in, no oil in it. Six months later, it came back. <laughs> they're pretty tough. So they're pretty tough. They're pretty dang <laughs> tough. Okay, that's got it. Might as well drain it out. Yeah, it'll save. It'll leak on your floor. Save me leaking it on my floor. Oh yeah, I did it anyways, thanks. All right, so the whole reason that I'm doing this is I'm trying to get lower gears so that you got more control when you're in bad situations. And if I can get six to one and 538s in the rear end, you can control things pretty well on the rocks. And uh, the automatic's just gonna be easier to use than this standard was, plus, this old standard was wore out. It's making noise. It pops out of third gear. It had some issues. So we're, this is this is double duty. We're getting rid of some stuff that's wore out, and we're upgrading to some lower gear. Okay. There's that. We just gotta pull the 205 apart okay. and put this inner or this spline in it and stack a whole bunch of needle bearings back together. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> How's day two, boys? The tow truck thing's going awesome. We're putting stuff together. My jacket for another bike and something. Remember, no break, no problem. Who would have thought a snap ring? would kick our butts like this. How? I mean, because it doesn't like you. 
There's a lot of stuff like that. I like you. I was gonna say. <laughs> I like him. Ow! Oh. That was me you stabbed that time. I got that one. <laughs> He's not sticking his hands so close in there anymore. Oh, I had it. Did it go back in? I let go because it pinched. Maybe it's these snap ring pliers. I'm start, starting to think that they aren't the greatest. Oh, we got, got it. Look at that. Already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think these old snap ring pliers are toast. It's about time to find some new ones. The craftsmen aren't that good, evidently. It's strong spine. Yeah, we're going to need to find a different one here. We may be ordering some parts for this 205. I don't know that I have. See, that's 32 spline, and I need a 32 spline output. I don't think that'll work. So we've pretty much had a day over today, and Michelle showed up with her smiling little face and brought us some pizza. So we're gonna go eat it and call it a day. Kick back, relax, watch some YouTube until tomorrow. All right, it's morning time again. 205 transfer case. We're gonna pull this apart and get that input shaft put into right there. We'll uh, throw it up on the tripod and tear this thing apart. Yes, pull some bolts and we'll make it happen. Let's see what's inside. Lots of little tiny roller bearings. I think you have to take this off. Oh, there's a clip. There's a snap ring on it, just like that other one that we fought yesterday. A little whacker device. Yeah. I got one of those handy. Hey, there was a gasket even on that. Parts of one. Oh, yeah. Is there a little snap ring? Okay. Just like that. Just like that, she comes off. Then we can pull it off. Right down in there, there's a bunch of little tiny roller bearings that don't have a retainer, they just set in there. And they run on this shaft right here. So you have to stack them in with some grease. Same kind of thing we were playing with on the other one, getting it to go in there. So, yep, we're getting there. Just like that. So this, I'll show them the difference here. This is the new. Okay, so this one's made to go on a Turbo 400. This one here, it's for a standard transmission. It has a coupler that slides together on those. So we're putting this one back in it. We gotta have this bearing. This is not the right one for what we're doing. We ran into a snag. We'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so we're making a parts run down to the junkyard. We're gonna go see, I know I have another one of these cases sitting down there. We're gonna see if it's the right one. All right, I'm halfway certain that I put it in this pile of stuff. See anything in there that looks like what we need? All right, we found it. It's right there. We just gotta get to it now. So we'll dig it out and see if it happens to be what we need. Okay, so update. It's the same small bearing, so that is not gonna do what we need it to We'll regroup. We've learned some stuff. Ben just went straight to the source. He called off-road design. This is the bearing that we need. It's a 90 millimeter bearing. This is an 80 millimeter bearing. Our option is to bore that hole out right there. We're gonna go ahead and test our machining skills, test the new mill out. We'll tear this completely apart, 100% apart, and see if we can bore that hole out. Here we go. That's a little more in depth than we thought we were getting today on a 205. That's every single piece out. Now we're gonna take it to the solvent tank, clean it up, and then this hole is gonna get bored to 90 millimeters. That should be fun. We're getting the mill set up so we can bore that hole right there to a 90 millimeter hole and do it yeah. properly, square. Twist that into there. There's that. Yeah, this will keep it here. And then we'll put. We want it on this one. 
Yeah, that's the hey, whole we're milling here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just testing everybody out here. Hey, I'm just. I saying, was just thinking. I said that how before. How we gonna I'm mail like, this? We better not cut the wrong one. <laughs> we did. We have another case. <laughs> we did. We talked about it. We're like, we should mark that hole so we do the right one. I didn't mean to sit there and just watch you do it. <laughs> no, I, I actually did, I guess. But I just sat there and watched you do it. Yes, I did. Middle. Yeah. It goes over the new shaft we're putting in here. Oh, okay. This is the bearing that came out of it. Oh yeah, I can see the difference. See the size difference? Yeah, I can see it. So yeah, we, we need like, that to set right in there. I can see that there. with my blind eye. Use your good eye, wow. Grandma. <laughs> I know, we're yeah. like, uh, that ain't gonna fit. <laughs> now we're gonna put the boarding bar in here and get it perfectly is centered that in this. That is a level. Yeah, one, two, one, two, that's perfectly flat. So that's there. flat. Now we need this to be perfectly both ways with this. Yes. Once we get that, then just a matter of we'll turn pulling it, it over and here and turn it lift, turn up lift. through it, down through it. We're pretty freaking close. 89. Yeah, it's not 90. It'll be fine. Just it's not 90. <laughs> Things are happening here. We're looking for 90. 89.2. We're real close, Boy, Clark. That's, so close. <laughs> that's uh, almost there. Yeah. Okay, we'll cut a couple thousand. 89.80. Still needs just a little there, huh? Yeah, I knew it was gonna. Yep. But I'd rather just go a little bit at a time instead of cut it too big. Yeah. Just like that. Look at that. Bearings in. Okay, now assemble now, everything. Now we'll reassemble and see if we did it right. Let's see, should be able to slide that right in there. That's good, that's gonna work, man. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna stick my finger in there. I would if I was you. A second. Dude, you got like Take nine it. more of them. Oh. Where did that brass hammer go? Put it away. Oh, you did? I know it's hard how to How are we supposed to find stuff if you keep putting it back? <laughs> I know how you are, that's why I did it. Uh, <laughs> That fell out of there and rolled right through the sawdust. Here's the rest of the shims. Freshly greased. I'll take those. Clean well, uh, I'm going to go to the solvent tank and take care of this. <laughs> yep. That's yep. about your luck. Create your own luck, Randall. I'm just really bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when we tore this apart, these little shims were actually on the back side of this bearing. And uh, they had all of these shims in there. That's the wrong spot for them. These shims are to set preload on these two bearings and uh, they were not doing that. So this transfer case made noise always. Problem solved, we'll have her fixed in a GIF. Okay, so this has got zero lash on it and there's actually just a little tiny bit of resistance you can feel with your hand in there. She's good, it was set up improperly when we tore it apart. I'd blame my dad, but he didn't do this last. I, only thing I did to this transfer case was pull the shift fork out and grind it so we could get low range two wheel drive. So this was uh, someone before our time. But it's going back together right now. This is my cornhole skills right here. <laughs> the crowd goes applause. wild. Hold your applause. Oh, I will. He's lucky. <laughs> We've got no all clips. the roller bearings in. There's no clips on it yet. Like a glove. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. Name that movie. We're winning this here battle, I think. We're getting there. That's, if it shifts there in a minute. That's one side done. If it shifts, right? Yeah, we we got a two-wheel drive right now. Hey, it rotates Spins. and every stuff. Now, yeah. if you can do that, she shifts. That should be neutral. It is. Four-wheel. Transfer case, assembled as far as we can. The important part is, is that big bearing is in it. 
and it works. It spins free, shifts, does all the things it needs to. I ordered another one of these shafts that is 32 splines so we can run the same yoke front and rear. We don't have that, so it's gonna be Tuesday before we can assemble it and put it together. So for today, I think we're pretty much done. We'll finish this on Tuesday. Hey, you still got water leaking out of it. It's just coming out of my underwear right now. Turn around, show us. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't look before I sat down and the seat was full of water. Not anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna remember to dump a 20 ounce in that seat every day when I get air. I'm gonna remember to fire you. <laughs> Need some help? Help. Nope. It's gonna get great to help you. All yours.